What's good, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video, man. So today we are reacting to Grave Digger's Diary of a Madman for the very first time. So if you got any other videos you want to react to, comment them down below and I'll definitely get to it, man. But without further ado, let's get right into this in three, two, one. Hey, wait, wait, wait. And bro, you right here. You right here. My man, it's A dot MK11, bro. You been on my head. And I appreciate that. I really do. But I promise I had you. And I got you, man. Let's get into it, bro. Three, two, one. Before this court passes judgment, will the four defendants please rise and approach the bench? Trust me, guys, it's all under control. The judge is my uncle. He'll take the insanity plea. The judge is my uncle. Don't forget my retainer balance. Okay, I understand you guys are. Hey, that's how I be when you got people on the inside. When you like actually develop a name for yourself, or you just got connections. You feel me? When your daddy the judge, when your auntie the judge, when your uncle the judge. You feel me? Like so much shit can happen, and they can get you out of trouble. Shit expunged from your record, and it's fucked up because a lot of people don't have that privilege and that luxury. Motherfuckers can't even get a job at McDonald's. You know what I'm saying? So it's just a it's a win win situation, a win lose situation. So. It is what it is. Beating insanity, claiming demonic spirits possess you to do these hideous murders. Can you please explain to this court how these so-called spirits made you into these raving madmen? Be a witness as I exercise my exorcism. The evil that lurks within the sin, the terrorism. Possessed by evil spirits, voices from the dead. I come forth with grave diggers in a head full of dread. I've been examined ever since I was semen. They took the sonogram and seen the image of a demon. At birth, nurses surrounded me with needles and drugged me all up with the diseases of evil. Ah. Grew up in hell, now I dwell in an Islamic temple. I'm fighting a holy war in the mental. Look deep in my eyes, you see visions of. Bro, and that's facts though. Like, when you really from nothing and you really from the trenches and you really see people dying all around you and you just really don't see no positivity, you try to go to the church, you try to find yourself, you try to find a positive outlet, you try to find a positive way. But sometimes motherfuckers don't allow that shit. They be like, nah, nigga, you got to sell this shit. You got to go, oh, go, you got to go in that corner. You gotta push that dope, bro. You got to, because that's the only way we're gonna make it. That's the only way your mama gonna eat. That's the only way your little brother's gonna eat. That's the only way your little sister's gonna eat. And it's sad as fuck, because sometimes you try to find that positive outlet. You try to go to church. You try to talk to the pastor, the preacher, the deacon, the reverend, whoever, the pope. You try to talk to them. But sometimes the streets be, they be calling you. It is what it is, bro. I'm gonna keep saying that shit because it be like that, bro. Death possessed by homicide is what I am obsessed. Giving niggas brain dimples. Dragging their asses on my hook by their temples. Okay. The cause of death is unknown to the cops. Because when I kill them, I'm not leaving one element to all tops. First, I'll assassinate him. And then I cremate him. Then take all of his fucking ashes and evaporate him. Or creep through the graveyard and hunt down your tombstone. Dig up your skeleton and stomp all your fucking bones. You try to haunt me, nigga. I ain't trying to hear it. Buck, buck, buck. I give your ass a holy spirit. Can you please explain to this court when these problems first began? The year 84, November, day 10. Overwhelmed by the wicked inspirations of an evil gen. I realized my ideas has born for 400 years of blood, sweat, and tears. I saw the torture, brutal murder. Slavery, 400 years of blood, sweat, and tears. Come on, man. We've been getting we've been getting everything stolen from us by the white man. We've been getting beat on. We've been getting taken for granted. We've been getting this. We've been getting that. It ain't nothing new to us. We've been on it. And I don't know when this came out. This look type 90s. You know what I'm saying? It got the 90s flow, the Wu-Tang flow. Honestly, it do. You feel me? But that shit true, man. 400 years, bro. More, more than that. Man, 400 plus, that shit sad as fuck, bro, when I think about it. I hate, I hate that shit that we went through that. And I feel like we, we went through that time and we ain't got shit to show for it. Like, black people still don't get reparations. We still don't get recognition. We still don't get this. We still don't get that. Like, it's sad as fuck that we still got to fight for our name. We still got to fight for our rights and still got to, 
It's sad as hell, bro. This shit's the same shit still happening from, oh, from over 400 years ago, 500 years ago, 600 years ago, bro. It's crazy. Of my father, so my brain became stained with the horror. I'm having real trouble nightmares. I'm being soaking wet, slapped down to the electric chair. I got tackled with handcuffs and shackles and restraint in the bottom of a holy tabernacle. They gave me nothing to eat for two weeks and sold my eyelids open so I couldn't sleep. About to die from thirst, that's when the minister Prince my jaws with a cold glass of vinegar Upon my wounds, they seasoned me with salt And knelt my hands and feet to the form of a cross ah, I cried as the blood dripped inside On my eye, refusing to die Visions of hell tormented my fate So I chewed my fucking arm off and made an escape <laughs> Hey, it's whole time you gotta do what you gotta do, bro To get out of certain situations Hey, it's up to you if you choose to stay in the bad situations. It's up to you, bro. Only you can change them situations, bro. My man said he'd chew his arm off just to get out of it. Hey, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do, man. For real. Calm down, people. Please calm down. Let us please proceed with the defendant's explanation. Into the realms of understanding and take good heed and you could bleed while I'm scared. Stages of pure hell, 60 cages of red cells. Shh, raindrops hit the pearls. Path is dull and narrow. You stalk by shadow. I pierce your skull with a fucking arrow. So narrow, only one could enter at a time. Stuck in the center, read the signs. A thousand doors to choose. You better hurry, don't stop. Shit is getting hot as a pile of curry. On your right side, there's fire. Your left, deep waters. Watch your step, the steep waters. What's that coming through the floor? Is a claw. Took his fucking ass to the fucking ah! core. Stroll through the dark conditions. I stone you till I see sparks and frictions. I chop you like a coal miner. Hey, see, I love shit like this. Like, like I said, they really remind me of Wu Tang. Just off the, and I'm not comparing them to Wu Tang in no way, shape, or form. You feel me? But I love how, you know, you got the, you got your brothers. You feel me? You got your people. You got the people who love you and had the same vision as you and the same dream, even if they didn't. They followed you because they saw your passion and they seen like, damn, this could really help me. This could really help my family. Hey, some people get into it and just see dollar signs. Some people really get into it because they passionate about it. Everybody had a different reasons of doing stuff, but I love this. Like, just putting your people on. Like, it's amazing because a lot of motherfuckers don't do that. A lot of motherfuckers selfish. They don't want to split that money. They like, nah, nah, man. I can do this by myself. And then they fail miserably when they could have came up with their brothers. You feel me? And still been on the independent shit, just like Wu Tang. They were still in Wu Tang, but they like you can still be independent. You feel me? But yeah. Combine the drug and mix it with your blood. Some more. I give you some more and watch you crawl. Guts hit the floor. Worms exit your pores. I trick you. Ah, then I'm quick to surrender. Deep your between pores. my thoughts and bust out your skin. You scream. Portraits of inflictable pain. You can't stand. You're up to your hands in quicksand. You're sinking and sinking deep into the earth. Thoughts was possessed since the first day of birth. My mentor says it's my turn to possess the matter. Stab you with a dagger up Jacob's ladder. Thoughts become shattered, confused and tragic. Fiery thoughts of grave diggers. Guilty. Next case. Damn. Guilty. Next case. Damn, I just pleaded my... Hey, that shit suck, though. When you in front of a judge and you crying your eyes out, you like... Well, not crying your eyes out, but you know. Some people do do that, you feel me? But when you, like, really sympathetic, really out here, just like Tupac, if you go to Tupac video, he really... The judge said, do you have anything to say? And he really said what he said, you know what I'm saying? You can say all that, and motherfuckers do not care about you. They still want to throw you away and lock the key. Lock the key. They want to throw you, throw you away in that cell. Throw away the key. And not give a fuck about you no more, man. If that made sense, I'm kind of sleepy, bro. I ain't gonna lie, but yeah, I had to get this cracking for you, AK, man. I had to come through for you because you was on my head, but I appreciate you, bro, for real. But hey, if y'all enjoyed that, go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe. I truly appreciate it. Catch me in my next video. Peace out.